Hello and thanks for joining us for the Armour 3 E3 Vehicle Showcase British Weather Edition. I'll demonstrate a brief run-through of our simple content, outlining a few of the new features, finishing up with a brief engagement. So straight away we can spot the detailed interior, which is evidence of our general goal to raise the bar of visual fidelity consistently across all of our assets. Switching the engine on, you can get a sense of the attention to detail that each vehicle will receive, and the progress that we're making with our sounds. Again, it's about trying to get a lot of little tweaks all working together to create an overall feeling of quality. It's perhaps useful to note the slightly more overcast weather conditions, part of our dynamic weather system, and improvement to things like volumetric clouds. Avoiding this rock, I can talk more about our new physics-supported driving model, which we hope will make driving a little more natural and challenging. Avoiding that goat, I might mention the ambient wildlife, the chickens, rabbits, dogs, birds, sea turtles, the odd suicidal goat. They're once again part of our effort to create a rich environment for gameplay to take place in. Up ahead, we'll hopefully run into an enemy patrol and we can talk about things like our thermal imaging technology and get some more examples of improvements to weapon sounds. Switching into the gunner's position, we'll beat back the enemy attack. And if I switch into the forward-looking infrared mode, we'll be able to identify targets quickly, deal with them before we come under fire. This feature was actually added in Operation Arrowhead, ported across from the great work achieved by our colleagues working on VBS who create training tools for militaries all across the world, but it'll certainly be a cool new feature for those coming in from Armour 2. Okay well that's a very brief run through our mission, of course each time we play it it's slightly different and I happen to know that there are some more uh, spectacular examples of the new ragdoll tech in effect in some other E3 videos, which of course you can find links to on our social channels. Thanks again for joining us, and keep a lookout for new videos over the next two weeks. Bye for now.